In the vast expanse of human interaction, the art of communication unfolds as a tapestry, rich with the hues of intent, emotion, and understanding. Among the myriad dialects spoken across the globe, there exists a universal language that transcends the barriers of geography and culture, the language of love. Mastering this language does not come with a manual, yet its proficiency can bridge hearts and forge connections that stand the test of time. The journey to fluency begins with an understanding of human nature, a precept deeply rooted in the ancient teachings of Giguzi. The essence of love's language lies not in grand gestures or eloquent declarations, but in the nuanced understanding of the other's emotional landscape. To navigate this terrain, one must become an astute observer, recognizing the unspoken words and the whispers between the lines. Mastery of speech, as expounded by Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role in articulating affections. Love's dialect is versatile, adapting its form to soothe, exhilarate, console, or motivate. It's in the soft murmur of reassurance in moments of doubt, the jubilant cheer in times of triumph, and the silent companionship in periods of solitude. This mastery is not solely about what is said, but how it is conveyed, with sincerity, warmth, and genuine intent. The utilization of rhetorical techniques in professing love involves more than just logical argumentation or emotional appeals, it encompasses the art of persuasion through empathy, kindness, and patience. Love's rhetoric persuades not to win over but to understand and to be understood. It's about constructing a bridge of mutual respect and appreciation over the chasm of differences and disagreements. Discernment between truth and falsehood becomes crucial in nurturing trust within relationships. Love's language thrives on authenticity and withers in the presence of deceit. It requires the courage to be vulnerable, to share one's true self without the masks that we often don to face the world. This vulnerability, paired with the discernment to recognize and appreciate the authenticity in others, lays the foundation for a bond that is both genuine and deep. Emotions, the vibrant colors of the human spirit, play a significant role in this intricate dance of communication. The language of love is fluent in the expressions of joy, sorrow, fear, and hope. It understands that to love is to feel deeply, to care profoundly, and to connect sincerely. By appealing to the emotional states of others, love fosters a sense of belonging and companionship. Adaptability in communication underscores the diversity of love's expressions. It acknowledges that each individual, with their unique experiences and perspectives, resonates with different forms of affection. For some, love is best expressed through acts of service, for others, through words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, or receiving gifts. Recognizing and adapting to these preferences is akin to speaking in the dialect most comprehensible and meaningful to the recipient. The skillful deployment of idioms and the integration of real-life samples enrich the narrative of love, adding depth and relatability. Phrases like crossing the Rubicon illustrate the irrevocable step of declaring one's love, while examples of enduring partnerships offer tangible proof of love's resilience and transformative power. In crafting tales of love, the balance between uniqueness and listener engagement is paramount. Each narrative, spanning the range of 6,000 to 10,000 characters, is a mosaic of emotions, insights, and experiences. Crafted in approachable English, these stories are vessels of empathy and understanding, designed to resonate with the heart and stir the soul. In conclusion, mastering the language of love is not an endeavor of linguistic proficiency but an exploration of the heart's capacity to connect, understand, and cherish. Through the application of ancient wisdom and the nuances of modern interaction, this universal language offers a beacon of hope and connection in the complex tapestry of human relationships. In the dance of relationships, emotions play the lead role. Guiding movements, setting the pace, and often deciding the rhythm of interactions. Like a well-orchestrated performance, the harmony between partners can elevate the simplest moments into memories of a lifetime. However, when discord strikes, the music falters, steps get misaligned, and the beauty of the dance is threatened. It's in these moments that the ancient wisdom of Giguzi, intertwined with modern understanding, can illuminate the path to healing and emotional robustness within relationships. 
Understanding human nature, at the heart of every relationship is the intricate web of human emotions and motivations. Like Gaguzi, who emphasized the importance of grasping human nature, recognizing the emotional needs and desires of your partner becomes the foundation of healing. It's not just about knowing what makes them laugh or cry, but understanding the core of their emotional being. This deep understanding fosters empathy, allowing you to become a beacon of support, especially during tumultuous times. Mastery of speech, communication, the bridge that connects hearts and minds, must be navigated with care and precision. In relationships, what you say, how you say it, and when you choose to speak or remain silent can all impact emotional health. Drawing from Gaguzi's teachings, mastering the art of speech involves not just the words chosen but the emotion and intention behind them. It's about creating a safe space where feelings can be expressed without fear of judgment or reprisal. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, persuasion in relationships isn't about winning an argument, it's about winning hearts and healing wounds. Employing rhetorical strategies, as suggested by Gaguzi, means using logic, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations to foster understanding and empathy. For instance, sharing personal experiences and vulnerabilities can be a powerful way to connect and persuade, encouraging your partner to open up and engage in the healing process together. Discernment between truth and falsehood in the realm of emotional health, being able to distinguish between what is real and what is a manifestation of fear, insecurity, or misunderstanding is crucial. This discernment helps in addressing the root causes of emotional distress, rather than being sidetracked by symptoms or surface-level issues. It requires honesty, both with oneself and with one's partner, to navigate through the fog of uncertainty towards clarity and resolution. Role of emotions, emotions, in their rawest form, are neither good nor bad, they simply are. Gaguzi's emphasis on understanding and appealing to emotions highlights their power in healing. Recognizing and validating your partner's emotions, as well as your own, creates a shared emotional landscape where healing is not a solitary journey but a shared endeavor. Adaptability in communication, every individual, and thereby every relationship, is unique. The ability to adapt one's communication style to suit the needs and preferences of your partner is a testament to the depth of your understanding and respect for them. This flexibility, a key lesson from Gaguzi, ensures that messages of love, support, and healing are always received in the spirit they are given. Incorporating real-life examples, we see that couples who practice these principles often find their way back to each other, even after significant emotional upheaval. Whether it's through shared activities that build mutual understanding and respect, or through dedicated time for open and honest communication. The path to emotional health in relationships is a journey of a thousand steps taken together, one day at a time. The wisdom of Gaguzi, when applied to modern relationships, offers a timeless guide to navigating the complexities of human emotions and interactions. By understanding and respecting the emotional needs of our partners, mastering the art of communication, and adapting to the unique rhythms of each relationship, we can all dance to the melody of emotional health and harmony. In the tapestry of human emotions, few threads are as vibrant yet as challenging to maintain as love, especially when stretched across the miles. This narrative explores the art of sustaining love over distance, an endeavor that requires not just the wisdom of Gaguzi, but also the application of modern communication strategies. The opening act, understanding the terrain. Love, much like the intricate plots weaved by the most skilled storytellers, begins with an engaging opening. The spark that ignites passion is often instantaneous, a connection that defies logic and explanation. However, as distance imposes its cold reality, this initial spark faces the threat of being extinguished. Here, understanding human nature, as Gaguzi suggests, becomes pivotal. Recognizing that the essence of human connection thrives on presence and interaction guides us to seek innovative ways to bridge the physical gap. Navigating the Middle, Mastery of Communication As our tale unfolds, the middle chapters are where the heart of the story lies. In sustaining love over distance, this phase is marked by the mastery of speech and communication. Different time zones, routines, and life's incessant demands can fray the strongest of bonds. 
It is here that the ancient wisdom of adapting one's speech to the context becomes invaluable. Modern technology affords us various platforms for connection, yet it's the quality of communication that matters. Sharing real-life samples, articulating feelings through carefully chosen words, and the occasional surprise letter or gift can add depth to the narrative of love, turning routine interactions into meaningful exchanges. The Climax, Emotional Resonance and Rhetorical Mastery Every story reaches a climax, a point where tensions peak and the protagonists find themselves facing the ultimate test. In long-distance relationships, this often manifests as moments of doubt, loneliness, and longing. Employing Gaguzi's teachings, one learns the importance of emotional resonance and the use of rhetorical techniques. Crafting messages that not only convey thoughts but also touch hearts requires an understanding of one's partner's emotional state. Whether it's a comforting voice note after a taxing day or a video message that brings back shared memories, the aim is to create a moment of emotional connection that transcends distance. The Resolution, Flexibility, and Adaptation As all tales must, our narrative too approaches its resolution. The secret to sustaining love over distance lies not just in grand gestures, but in the daily willingness to adapt and grow together, even when apart. Flexibility in communication, understanding the ebb and flow of life's demands, and being present in the ways that matter set the foundation for a love that endures. The Closing, A Love Woven Across Miles In conclusion, sustaining love over distance is an art form, one that blends ancient wisdom with the nuances of modern communication. It's a narrative filled with challenges, requiring patience, understanding, and creativity. Yet, for those willing to navigate its complexities, it offers a deeply rewarding experience. Like the most captivating tales told by master raconteurs, it's a journey of emotions, from the thrilling highs of reunion to the poignant lows of parting. But above all, it's a testament to the enduring power of love, a force that, despite the miles, keeps hearts locked in an embrace, beating in unison across the vast canvas of life. In the glow of the morning sun, as the city awakens to the sound of bustling life, there lies a story not often told. This tale, rich with emotion and woven with the wisdom of ancient philosophies, unfolds the journey of two souls on a quest for a shared treasure's health. Drawing upon the age-old teachings of Gaguzi, let's embark on a narrative that explores the essence of wellness practices for couples, a testament to the power of unity and understanding in the pursuit of well-being. Understanding Human Nature at the heart of every relationship is the intricate dance of human nature. As Deguzi teaches, comprehending the depths of one's partner's motivations and behaviors is pivotal. Imagine a couple, Alex and Jordan, each with their unique health goals and challenges. Alex, a morning person, finds rejuvenation in the early hours, while Jordan, a night owl, thrives under the moon's glow. Recognizing and respecting these natural rhythms is the first step toward a harmonious health journey together. This understanding allows them to craft a wellness routine that accommodates their individual needs while fostering a shared sense of purpose. Mastery of Speech Communication, the bridge that connects hearts and minds, is vital in navigating the journey of shared wellness. The mastery of speech, as advocated by Gaguzi, plays a crucial role. When discussing health goals and concerns, the manner in which Alex and Jordan express themselves can significantly influence their mutual support and motivation. Positive reinforcement, words of encouragement, and constructive dialogue pave the way for a stronger bond and a shared commitment to health. Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques The art of persuasion is a gem in the crown of any relationship, especially when embarking on a wellness journey together. Emotional appeals, such as expressing genuine concern for each other's well-being, or logical arguments, highlighting the benefits of a healthy lifestyle, are crucial. For instance, Jordan might encourage Alex to join a yoga class together, appealing to Alex's love for activities that strengthen not just the body, but also the mind and soul. Discernment between truth and falsehood In the realm of health and wellness, misinformation abounds. The ability to discern truth from falsehood, as Gaguzi teaches, is essential. 
Alex and Jordan, in their quest for wellness, must navigate through a sea of health fads and myths, identifying practices backed by scientific evidence and those that align with their personal health philosophies. Role of Emotions Emotions wield the power to either propel us forward or hold us back. In the context of couples' wellness, recognizing and addressing emotional barriers to health is key. Whether it's the fear of failure, the discomfort of stepping out of one's comfort zone, or the joy of achieving a milestone together, emotions are at the core of the wellness journey. By understanding and empathizing with each other's emotional states, Alex and Jordan can offer the support needed to overcome obstacles and celebrate victories together. Adaptability in Communication The path to wellness is not linear. It requires adaptability in communication, as each phase of life brings new challenges and opportunities. Whether it's adjusting to a new diet, a change in routine, or addressing health setbacks, the ability to tailor one's approach to communication ensures that Alex and Jordan remain aligned with their health goals, fostering a relationship that thrives on understanding, support, and mutual respect. In weaving idioms through our tale, we see that health is wealth, a truth that Alex and Jordan live by, proving that together, they are indeed richer. Integrating real-life samples, like the story of Alex and Jordan, enriches our narrative, connecting readers to the profound truth that wellness, when pursued together, strengthens not only the body but the bond that unites hearts. And so, as our tale of health and harmony comes to a close, we are reminded of the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi. In the pursuit of wellness, the journey shared between two souls, guided by understanding, communication, and adaptability, is indeed the most precious treasure. In the glow of love's early days, financial matters often take a back seat to romantic dinners and weekend getaways. However, as the relationship matures, the topic of money can no longer be ignored, transforming from a mere afterthought to a central pillar of partnership stability. Enter the story of Alex and Jamie, a couple who, like many, found themselves on opposite ends of the financial spectrum. Alex, a spontaneous spender, lived for the moment, embracing the philosophy of enjoying life's pleasures without much thought for tomorrow. Jamie, on the other hand, was the quintessential saver, meticulously planning each purchase and prioritizing savings for future security. This dichotomy, while charming in the abstract, became a source of friction as they began to weave their lives more closely together. The turning point came one evening, under the soft light of their favorite cozy diner, where conversations about dreams and aspirations gradually gave way to the more concrete topic of finances. It was here, amidst the clinking of cutlery and the murmur of fellow diners, that they realized the need for a unified approach to their financial future. Drawing upon the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, Alex and Jamie embarked on a journey to understand not only the nature of their individual financial behaviors, but also the underlying motivations and fears driving those behaviors. Recognizing that their differences were not merely about money, but about fundamental views on life and security, they began to appreciate the strength in their diversity. Mastery of speech played a pivotal role in their financial discussions. They learned to communicate their needs and concerns without judgment or blame, employing rhetorical techniques that appealed to each other's emotions and logic. This approach fostered a deeper understanding and respect for their respective viewpoints. Real-life examples of couples who had successfully navigated similar challenges served as both inspiration and practical guidance. Stories of shared goals, such as saving for a dream vacation or investing in a home, illustrated the power of teamwork over individual efforts. These narratives, rich with idioms like saving for a rainy day or money doesn't grow on trees, added a relatable and motivational layer to their discussions. Alex and Jamie adopted a strategy of flexible adaptation, recognizing that their financial plan needed to accommodate both their dreams and their fears. They set up monthly financial dates, a time dedicated solely to reviewing their budget, discussing upcoming expenses, and celebrating milestones achieved. This ritual not only kept them aligned on their financial goals, but also deepened their connection as a couple. From spender to saver, and everything in between, Alex and Jamie's journey to financial harmony exemplifies the transformative power of understanding, communication, and compromise. 
Their story, a blend of ancient philosophy and modern-day challenges, serves as a beacon for couples navigating the often turbulent waters of love and money. In the end, the couple's guide to financial harmony lies not in changing each other to fit a mold, but in understanding and embracing the unique perspectives each brings to the table. Through open dialogue, shared goals, and mutual respect, financial discord can give way to a symphony of collaboration, propelling the relationship to new heights of understanding and intimacy. Investing as a couple can be likened to embarking on a journey through a dense, uncharted forest. It requires a map, a compass for direction, and most importantly, the collective will to push through the brush and bramble towards a common goal. This story is not just about growing wealth, it's about weaving the fabric of a shared future, thread by thread, investment by investment. Begin with understanding and setting joint goals. Our tale begins at the heart of any investment strategy, understanding and setting joint financial goals. It's akin to sitting down with a piece of parchment and charting the course of your journey. What does your shared future look like? Are you voyaging towards buying a home, saving for your children's education, or ensuring a comfortable retirement? Like the ancient Chinese philosopher Gaguzi taught, understanding the nature of your shared goals is key. It's about knowing not just the destination, but the why behind it, as this understanding fuels motivation and guides decision making. Crafting your narrative together. Communication is the cornerstone of any successful partnership. In the realm of investing, this translates to open, honest discussions about financial health, risk tolerance, and investment preferences. Just as a master storyteller weaves a tale that captivates the audience from start to end, you must craft your investment narrative together, ensuring that both voices are heard and both views are considered. This is the essence of Gaguzi's mastery of speech, adapting your communication styles to effectively share and merge your financial visions. The Art of Persuasion and Investment Choices When navigating through the dense forest of investment options, employing Gaguzi's art of persuasion tactfully can be invaluable. You might find yourselves at a crossroads, debating between stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate investments. Here, the ability to present logical arguments, backed by research and analysis, while also appealing to emotional aspects of financial decisions, can help in reaching a consensus. Remember, the end goal is to persuade not for the sake of winning an argument, but to ensure that the chosen path aligns with your shared goals and risk appetites. Deploying idioms and real-life examples for clarity. In your discussions, don't shy away from using idioms to enrich your conversations and provide clarity. Phrases like don't put all your eggs in one basket can simplify the concept of diversification in investing. Similarly, drawing from real-life examples of other couples who have successfully navigated their investment journey can offer both inspiration and cautionary tales, reinforcing the importance of strategic planning and risk management. Adapting and Evolving Your Strategy Just as no journey through a forest follows a straight line, your investment strategy should be adaptable. Life will throw unexpected twists and turns, a sudden job loss, an unforeseen expense, or a global financial crisis. Gaguzi's teachings on adaptability and communication translate here into the flexibility of your investment plans. Regularly review and adjust your portfolio, taking into account changes in your financial situation, market conditions, and progress towards your goals. Navigating the path forward. As you move forward, arm in arm, through the intricate dance of investing as a couple, remember that the journey is as important as the destination. Celebrate milestones, learn from setbacks, and always keep the lines of communication open. Your investments are not just entries in a ledger, they are the seeds of your future dreams, nurtured by patience, understanding, and shared commitment. In closing, let the wisdom of Gaguzi guide you understand the nature of your journey, master the art of communication, employ persuasion wisely, enrich your narrative with idioms and real-life examples, and remain adaptable. Here's to the wealth of your future, not just in financial terms, but in the richness of a journey shared and dreams realized, together. In the grand theater of life, where the curtains never truly close and the stage is ever-changing, there exists a delicate dance between love, life, and work. 
This narrative, inspired by the ancient teachings of Gaguzi and the wit of late-night showmanship, explores the intricate ballet of balancing these fundamental aspects of human existence. Once upon a contemporary stage, there lived a person named Alex. Alex, much like you and me, jibbled the balls of life with a grace that was both enviable and remarkably human. By day, Alex was an architect, crafting the skeletons of future homes and offices. By night, Alex cherished moments with Sam, their partner, exploring the depths of love and companionship. Amidst this, Alex sought personal fulfillment, a quest that added another layer to their life's complexity. Drawing upon Gaguzi's understanding of human nature, let's dissect Alex's experiences. The ancient philosopher emphasized the importance of understanding motivations. For Alex, the motivation was clear, a harmonious balance that allowed them to excel at work, nurture their relationship, and find personal growth. This is a universal quest, reflective of the human condition's complexities. Alex's mastery of speech, another pillar from Gaguzi, was evident in their ability to communicate effectively with both their partner and colleagues. They knew when to speak with passion, when to argue with logic, and when to listen. This skill was not just a professional tool, but a cornerstone of their personal relationship. After all, isn't love often a dialogue, a series of exchanges that require understanding and adaptability? The application of rhetorical techniques comes into play in how Alex navigated workplace challenges and relationship dynamics. They employed emotional appeals to foster team spirit at work and used logical argumentation to resolve conflicts with Sam. This duality of approach underscores the versatility required to manage the different facets of life. Deguzi also spoke of the discernment between truth and falsehood, a skill that Alex found invaluable. In a world rife with misinformation and half-truths, being able to sift through the noise and find authenticity was crucial. This discernment helped Alex build trust, the foundation of both professional and personal relationships. The role of emotions in persuasion and communication was another lesson from Gaguzi that Alex lived by. They understood that acknowledging and appealing to emotions could be a powerful tool in fostering understanding and empathy, whether with a client or a partner. Flexibility and adaptability in communication, the final teaching from Gaguzi, were perhaps the most critical. Life, as Alex found, was unpredictable. The ability to adjust one's approach, to be malleable in the face of changing circumstances, was what ultimately allowed them to maintain balance. Whether adjusting project deadlines at work to accommodate unforeseen challenges or being there for Sam during tough times, Alex's adaptability was their greatest asset. In weaving through Alex's story, idioms like walking a tightrope and juggling balls aren't just linguistic flourishes, they are vivid descriptors of the continuous effort to maintain equilibrium. Real-life examples abound of individuals who, like Alex, strive for balance. Their stories, replete with triumphs and setbacks, add depth and credibility to our narrative. In conclusion, the intimacy equation, balancing love, life, and work, is not a formula to be solved, but a dynamic equation that evolves. Drawing on the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative flair of modern storytelling, we see that at the heart of this equation is understandings of oneself, of others, and of the ever-changing stage of life. Like Alex, we are all performers in this grand production, each finding our rhythm in the dance between love, life, and work. In the glow of the early evening, as the sun dips below the horizon painting the sky in shades of pink and orange, there's a story that unfolds, a tale as old as time, yet ever so pertinent. It's about love, not just any love, but the kind that weathers storms, blossoms in adversity, and transforms into a lifetime of companionship. Drawing upon the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, and sprinkled with a dash of modern-day wit, let's embark on a journey through the ten secrets that can transform your relationship into an everlasting bond. Understand the core of your partner. Like the sage advice from Gaguzi emphasizes understanding human nature, the first secret lies in truly grasping what makes your partner tick. It's not just about their likes or dislikes, but diving deep into their fears, dreams, and the very fabric of their being. Mastering this understanding is the cornerstone of a relationship that's built to last. Master the art of communication. 
Communication is an art, and like any great artist, you must know when to speak softly and when to be silent. Taking a leaf from ancient rhetoric, remember that different situations call for different types of speech. A gentle whisper might soothe a troubled heart, while a spirited debate might ignite passion. Learn to navigate these waters with grace and watch as your connection deepens. Emotional Intelligence as Gaguzi teaches, emotions hold the keys to persuasion. In the realm of love, being attuned to your partner's emotional state and responding with empathy can dissolve barriers. Whether it's sharing in their joy or providing solace in their sorrow, being emotionally present is a gift beyond measure. The Power of Adaptability Life is an ever-changing tapestry, and adaptability is your most prized thread. As circumstances shift and evolve, so too should your approach to your relationship. Embrace change and be willing to grow together. This flexibility is a testament to the strength of your bond. Honesty and Integrity Discerning truth from falsehood isn't just about avoiding deception, it's about fostering an environment where honesty flourishes. Be genuine with your words and actions and cultivate a relationship where trust is the foundation. After all, a love built on truth is unshakable. Celebrate the small moments. In the grand tapestry of life, it's the small threads that add depth and beauty. Celebrate the little victories, the quiet moments, and the simple pleasures. These are the memories that bind your hearts together, creating a collage of happiness that stands the test of time. Learn the language of love. Just as a masterful speech can sway nations, knowing your partner's love language can transform your relationship. Whether it's words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, or physical touch, learn to speak their language. And watch as your bond deepens in meaning and affection. The Art of Compromise In the dance of love, flexibility is key. Compromise doesn't mean losing, it means finding a harmonious balance where both partners feel valued and heard. Approach disagreements with an open heart and a willingness to find middle ground. And together, you'll navigate life's challenges with grace. Keep the flame alive. Passion is the spark that ignites the fire of love, but it's the slow, steady burn that keeps it alive. Invest in your relationship, explore new experiences together, and never stop courting each other. It's the fuel that keeps the flame burning brightly through the years. A shared vision. Lastly, forging a shared vision for the future sets the stage for a lifetime of love. It's about building dreams together and working hand in hand to make them a reality. With a common goal and a united front, there's nothing you can't overcome together. In weaving these 10 secrets into the fabric of your relationship, you're not just building a love that lasts a lifetime. You're crafting an epic tale of companionship, understanding, and unwavering devotion. Just like the most captivating stories, your love story, enriched with the wisdom of ages and the freshness of modern insight, becomes a beacon of hope and a testament to the enduring power of love. In the off-turbulent sea of life, navigating financial waters can seem a daunting task for many. Yet, imagine if we approach this journey not as solitary voyagers, but as part of a cohesive fleet, each ship lending its unique strengths to the collective. Drawing inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, let us embark on a narrative voyage to explore how we can build financial security together, employing strategic communication, understanding human nature, and integrating real-life examples to chart a course toward a prosperous future. The Opening Salvo, Understanding the Tide In the art of persuasion, as taught by Gaguzi, the first step is to understand human nature. Finance, at its core, is not just about numbers, it's about people. Each individual's financial decisions are driven by a complex mix of needs, desires, fears, and aspirations. Recognizing this, we begin our journey with the acknowledgement that financial security is not a one-size-fits-all proposition. It is a tailored suit, crafted to fit the unique contours of each person's life. Take, for example, the story of Anna and John, a young couple eager to embark on their financial voyage. Despite their modest income, they dream of owning a home, traveling the world, and providing a secure future for their yet-to-be children. 
Their story exemplifies the emotional undercurrent that often guides our financial decisions, a blend of hope, aspiration, and the innate desire for security. Charting the Course, The Power of Collective Wisdom Utilizing rhetorical techniques, we find that persuasion and finance often involves weaving narratives that connect emotionally, logically, and ethically. Here, the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi teaches us the importance of adaptability in communication. By tailoring our approach to the individual's emotional state and motivations, we can guide them towards sound financial decisions. In the context of building financial security together, this means creating platforms where individuals can share their experiences, challenges, and strategies. Imagine a community forum where Anna and John could learn from the stories of those who've navigated similar financial waters. Here, idioms like a rising tide lifts all boats come to life, illustrating the power of collective wisdom in achieving personal financial goals. The Voyage Employing Real-Life Samples Integration of real-life examples enhances the credibility and relatability of our narrative. Consider the tale of the Phoenix family, who rose from the ashes of financial ruin through meticulous planning, community support, and strategic investment. Their story is not just a tale of recovery, it's a beacon for others facing similar adversities, illustrating that financial setbacks are but waypoints, not endpoints, on the journey to security. The Closing Chapter Building Security Together as we draw our narrative to a close, we return to the teachings of Gaguzi, particularly the mastery of speech and the role of emotions in persuasion. Building financial security is a journey fraught with storms and uncertainties, yet it is also ripe with opportunities for growth, learning, and unity. In crafting our financial destinies, let us remember that we are not lone sailors, but members of a vast armada, each with our own stories, challenges, and dreams. By sharing our narratives, employing strategic communication, and drawing on the collective wisdom of those who've navigated these waters before us, we can build a future of financial security, not just for ourselves, but for the collective. In the words of Gaguzi, understanding and adapting to the human element in finance is not just a strategy, it's the keel that steadies our ship as we sail toward a horizon of prosperity and security, together. In the cozy, dimly lit corner of a bustling cafe, the air thick with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, and the low hum of intimate conversations, two hearts beat in unison, dreaming of a future together. They were not just intertwined by the threads of affection, but were also embarking on a journey to weave a tapestry of financial security and legacy. This is a tale of love, strategy, and the art of planning a financial future together. Inspired by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative flair akin to late-night show storytelling. Our story begins with Alex and Jamie, a couple who found love in the most unexpected circumstances. Their love was like a novel, filled with chapters of laughter, passion, and dreams. Yet, as they sat across from each other, sipping their favorite coffee, they realized that their love story needed not just words, but also a blueprint for the future drawing from the teachings of Gaguzi. They understood the first step was to embrace the complexity of their joint financial aspirations. Understanding Human Nature They recognized their differing attitudes towards money. Alex, a spender, lived for the moment, while Jamie, a saver, envisioned a future of abundance and security. Through open and heartfelt conversations, they discovered the balance between enjoying the present and saving for the future. A testament to Gaguzi's emphasis on the mastery of speech and role of emotions and persuasion and mutual understanding. The couple decided to employ rhetorical techniques in their financial planning, setting clear, logical goals while also allowing room for dreams and desires that fueled their emotional connection. They agreed on a set of financial objectives, saving for a home, planning for retirement, and setting aside funds for travel and experiences that would enrich their journey together. Adaptability and communication was key as they navigated through their financial planning. 
Alex and Jamie learn to adjust their strategies according to life's unpredictable rhythms, ensuring their plans were resilient yet flexible. They also embrace the wisdom of discerning truth from falsehood and financial advice, seeking knowledge from credible sources and avoiding the pitfalls of too-good-to-be-true schemes. In weaving idioms into their narrative, they often joked about not putting all their eggs in one basket, emphasizing the importance of diversification in investments. Their story was peppered with these nuggets of wisdom, making their journey not just a lesson in finance, but also in life. Integration of real-life samples played a crucial role in their planning. They looked to the stories of couples who had successfully navigated financial planning, drawing inspiration and lessons from their triumphs and challenges. This not only enhanced their knowledge, but also deepened their connection as they shared stories that resonated with their aspirations and fears. As days turned into years, Alex and Jamie's love and financial foundation grew stronger. Their careful balance of uniqueness and engagement in their financial tale became a testament to their love. A legacy not just of wealth, but of shared dreams, mutual respect, and an unbreakable bond. This narrative, spanning the delicate dance between love and financial planning, mirror the essence of storytelling that engages, educates, and endears. It serves as a blueprint for couples embarking on a similar journey, proving that with love, strategy, and a sprinkle of ancient wisdom, creating a legacy of love and financial security is not just a dream but a beautiful reality.